this is David Benaim, and in this video I'm going to show you the Office mobile app available in both Android and in iOS. So you can download this app for free. Now the obvious thing that it does is you can add a Word and Excel or a PowerPoint document and just edit that directly from your mobile application. But what I'm going to go through more is this action stuff because this is really cool stuff. Here, for example, you can choose the transfer files button. Then it says go to transfer.office.com on my computer. Uh, max file size is 10 megabytes and I can just receive by scanning the QR code on my computer. Then it says the computer's found so I can pair the devices. Need to click that in both of them. And then I can just choose files to send. So for example, I can click some thumbnails of my YouTube videos. There you go. So that's a quick and easy way to send loads of files. In the past, I've done this through sending myself emails, but it just is way more convenient if you do want to send a large number of files like that. So let's look at this really cool stuff. This is probably my favorite image to text. So I'm going to click on that. So what you can do is you can use an existing photo or just take a photo of say a book like this one. I'm going to just take a photo of that. Then get the perspectives right. So yeah, I only want half the page. I don't want the other side. Make it double sided there, done. Then it says it's processing. And look at that, it's just converted it to text, which is really cool. Uh, it's pretty accurate as well. You can sort of see it as you go along. It does it in portrait mode only, but you can copy it there or you can share it in your normal sharing me mechanisms through your phone as well. So that's a really cool one to be able to basically scan a document and convert it into text. So there's another similar feature that is to do with image to table. So here I've got a table. And again, I'm going to just sort of go on the table and take photos of that. So press done. And this can actually now convert it into Excel, which is pretty cool. So here you can uh, go through it and you can edit it or click open. So you can go through and edit each one. Uh, the red ones are the ones that it seems might be errors so that you can check. So here you can choose to edit it if you want to, uh, or you can press ignore if you're happy with it. If I press open, it says 30 items for your review. You can review one by one as well, and then just say ignore or edit them as you need to just manually type over that. So if I want to say that's 12, then that's okay, just keep going. I'd probably say it's worth doing this. And then eventually it just adds it to an Excel file, which is really awesome. <laughs> so it doesn't do well with the merge cells, so you might have to remerge them, but it does an okay job at that over there. Uh, when we are in Excel and PowerPoint and Word, what we can do is we can just sort of navigate through this. This is if we have multiple sheets or, uh, this is just different menus. Here we can search for what we want to do. Uh, and then we can click on the side and go between the data tab and all the other tabs that we're used to in Excel. So it can be pretty useful for editing. I'm going to just delete the draft for now and show you some of these other cool things. So I really like this extra stuff that says do more with PDF. So you have four options here. You can sign a PDF by just sort of choosing a document that you have. There's a signature I added earlier. So you can tap anywhere to sign. And then it has pre-built your signature. Or if you don't want that and you delete it, you can just sort of retype with your finger and draw a new one like that. Change the color if you want to another one and then press done. With this one, you can resize it, move it around. It's just really, really quick and easy, especially once you've already saved your signature. 
Uh, other stuff you can do with PDFs is you can see it page by page there. You can go to back and forward as well, or you can search. So this is really cool. You can search for, for example, client, and then it will identify every time that it says that, even though this is a PDF, which is awesome. Uh, this is probably my favorite one of these PDF ones, actually. So this actually converts your phone into a scanner. So I'm going to click on the flash button there and use the flash because that's kind of a better way to do that. And then I've got a document here that I'm going to scan. So I'm going to sort of put it around there. Now the trick is getting the red outline to be around your sheet of paper there. There you go. That's a pretty good page. And then I can press add new and then just go to the next page in my document. And it takes up to 10 pages, which is quite nice. Remember the flash button is incredibly useful for this feature. If it doesn't do it exactly, you can just sort of delete it, discard image and try again. Add new. Change the orientation to get a better scan. There we go. And then all we need to do is use the button to flip it around. You can also crop or do other effects, add text or add drawings as well. When you're done, you just press the done button and then it allows you to save it. So once you press the back, it tells you, well, do you want to save it? And I'll just say this is a uh, demo scan. And then you can save it in your OneDrive or your SharePoint. Document to PDF. So this is quite nice. It allows you to just take a Word file or a PowerPoint or an Excel file and just convert that to a PDF like it's done here quite quickly. Then from here, I can save it where I want. And what I like about this is that it makes all the hyperlinks clickable. And that is often difficult to do if you're doing it natively within Word or PowerPoint, I find. Uh, the, the options to save to PDF or print to PDF often give you mixed results with what it does with the hyperlinks. The last one is scan QR code. Now, most of the mobile phones come with a QR scanner. This one's a little bit more powerful though. If you point over it as well as just regularly doing, um, an open, you can also do a copy or write a note about that and make it into a note as well. So yeah, a little bit more powerful than your average QR scanner, but I just tend to stick to my camera for that. Uh, then on the plus button, so you can choose documents and add a new Word, Excel, or a PowerPoint file. Notice you have scan text in Word, you have scan table in Excel and PowerPoint. You have choose pictures, so you can convert multiple pictures into a PowerPoint file. It will make one slide for each picture. You can create from template or create blank. And then in the home tab, you have uh, the recently edited documents that you can browse through as well. Mine are all PowerPoints. There you go. And if I go to one of them, then it can open it up. And I'm gonna show you this card view here. This is all fake data anyway, but if you click on this button, second on the left, you have this card view. And now it just shows you essentially the dates and uh, the event, etc. So you could just see it much better from a mobile perspective. And if you click on it, you can edit it directly from here in the card view where each row of your data has now become this sort of card with the data on multiple rows that you can edit them one by one. Then you can press next to edit multiple ones as you go along and the three dots you can insert above or below if you want to as well. So that's a, the really useful card view. This is one of the only mobile only uh, features that I've seen that are really, really worthwhile. So as you go down, you have some pin documents and these are pinned from your computer. For me, I have them pinned there. And yeah, you also can keep scrolling down and you have notes. So this is a note that I created. 
This actually syncs to the notes that is in your native notes app in your phone, be it on your Android or on your iPhone. Um, I quite like the notes native application, so I'm not gonna stop using that, but it, it can be useful in that you can search for it as we'll see in a second. And then you have media, which is about uh, pictures and PDFs. They're also saved on your OneDrive in a different category there. Then finally, you have your files, which is what's edited today, what's edited yesterday, etc. Uh, you can browse through your OneDrive and SharePoint by tapping on this on the top right. And then just browse like we saw earlier. And finally, you have this search. And if you search for, for example, the word March, this is really cool because this can search through your files and your media as well. So these are the files that have the word March in them. And then in media, then these are some pictures of some documents which have the word March in it as well. And notes if I've ever written the word March in there. So it actually searches for text through PDFs, which is really cool actually. <laughs> Uses a lot of uh, optical character recognition scanning there. Great. All right, well that's the Office mobile app. Uh, you can get it from your Play Store or your iOS app store as well and highly recommend it because it's really cool it's free and final point to mention is it takes up way less space this this application takes around three four hundred megabytes you're saving up a lot of free space if you already have the excel powerpoint and or word apps cool so that's it for this video if you like this video then please click on the subscribe button i have tons more content coming up on all sorts of software that you might want to use for the workplace and see you next time